Hello and welcome to the 2024 Queen City Senior Bowl Selection Show. I'm your host, Matt Morrow. Today we are revealing the 80 student athletes playing in the Queen City Senior Bowl at Olympic High School on Saturday, December 21st at 12 p.m. The Queen City Senior Bowl was created by the Alliance Sportsmanship Foundation to create a memorable and rewarding experience for the best high school football players and coaches in Charlotte, North Carolina, and the surrounding counties. This game will be the platform for student athletes to showcase their unique athletic gifts. The Queen City Senior Bowl is also dedicated to serving the community. A portion of the proceeds from the game, along with the Alliance Sportsmanship Foundation's fundraising efforts, are awarded to their charitable partner, the Metro School, which directly helps their organization and its daily operations. The Metro School serves approximately 250 students, all of whom are cognitively disabled, ranging in age from 3 to 22. Many of the students have severe medical and physical needs. Many of the students are in need of total physical care and assistance, and many have, have other multiple disabilities such as visual impairments, hearing impairments, and autism in addition to their cognitive challenges. So fans, please visit QueenCitySeniorBowl.com, click on the Tickets Donate tab, and purchase a ticket to the game or donate right now. Now for our selection process, the selection committee comprised of respected media members and Queen City Senior Bowl executive personnel had their hands full this year. Over 280 players submitted their game highlights for evaluation. The committee made a lot of hard decisions in putting this roster together. The 2024 team has players represented from eight counties, the most in the bowl game six year history. Mecklenburg, Gaston, Cleveland, Union, Cabarrus, Iredale, Lincoln, and Catawba counties are all represented. A lot of deserving names may not be said today, but that does not mean you are not a great player. There will be opportunities to join the bowl game if players do not accept their roster spot to play in the game. Now about this year's coaches. The coaching staff selection is just as crucial to the success of this game and its efforts. Last year's head coaches in Robert Washington and Wesley Ward provided a memorable game with the West taking the victory 21-14 to give the West team the all-time series lead at 3-2. This year's coaches are especially talented and will bring some new elements to this year's game. The West team is led by West Charlotte Lions head football coach Sam Griner, who has led multiple teams to playoff appearances and won a state championship at Harding High School in 2017. Coach Griner is an excellent motivator and a tactician who puts his players in the best spot to succeed consistently. The East team is led by Independence Patriots head coach DJ McFadden, who has made the Independence program a state title contender year in and year out. Coach McFadden has established a strong reputation as a winner, and his teams consistently play strong on both sides of the ball and exude the confidence he has in between the lines on Friday nights. Now, what do you get for playing in the Queen City Senior Bowl? These are some really cool things. First of all, players will get to keep their game day uniform. And exciting news this year, there are new uniform colors. So please stay tuned to see what those look like. Uh, players will get recruited by college coaches during the Queen City Senior Bowl week of practice. Players will get social media promotion and recognition from their selection, such as this show right here. Photos and interviews of players will take place ongoing throughout the week leading up to the game where photos, video, and interviews will also take place. And then finally, players will receive recognition from Prep Reds of North Carolina, which is a nationally recognized website that college football programs subscribe to for recruiting purposes. Grayson Harvey, Mountain Island. Khalil Wright, Country Day. Justin Little, Independence. Braden Rediger, Marvin Ridge. All right, when you talk about Grayson Harvey, he achieved a major milestone breaking the all-time Gaston County passing yard record. He's got a great ability to uh, be a threat from the pocket. 
uh, throwing the football with good timing and precision. Over the last couple of years, uh, Grayson has helped lead Mountain Island to a winning record and success on the football field. And you take a look at Khalil Wright from Country Day. He's a talented dual threat quarterback committed to Kennesaw State University. Uh, I really think he has great accuracy throwing the football with a strong arm. And then as a runner, he can make good decisions and has good speed in the open field. Uh, really excited to see Khalil get on this stage and uh, have this opportunity to compete uh, with the best in Charlotte and beyond. And then he started looking at Justin Little. Uh, he's been a three-year starter. He helped turn the Independence program around to a state title contender. Uh, makes great decisions with the RPO in that offense. Um, and he's really considered a dual-threat quarterback. He's got several offers to play college football. And um, definitely he's going to be an asset to a college football team on the next level. And then finally, you got Braden Rediger from Marvin Ridge. Uh, it's his first full season as starting quarterback. He's got some strong moments. Helped the Mavericks uh, compete in one of the toughest conferences in the state. Uh, I think he's got a big arm. He can make throws all over the field. And in um, my opinion, he's got a big future at the college level playing college football. Isaiah Lackey, Hickory. Anthony Hawkins, Hickory Grove. Aiden Turner, West Charlotte. Jaden Williams, Butler. Zaire Brooks, Chambers. All right, when you talk about Isaiah Lackey, he's the main running back on the 3A state champions. Uh, we've got offers from John C. Smith and uh, Virginia University of Lynchburg. Offensive player of the game in the state championship. He's just an incredible player. Anthony Hawkins, he's been the main offensive uh, player for Hickory Grove over the last couple of years. He can run inside, outside, and with power. And he, uh, he's got great speed when he gets to the outside. Aiden Turner, 5'9", 185. One of the main cogs in the town of West Charlotte Lions offense. Uh, we've got an offer from Charlotte. Should have recruiting interest from multiple schools, in my opinion. Really good back. Uh, Jaden Williams, he's a three down running back. He can run in with power in between the tackles. He's got the speed to get outside. He's a really good receiver out of the backfield that can win against linebackers and safeties. Uh, Makai Heron, a big load on his shoulders with A.L. Brown. 1,500 rushing yards his junior year. Impressive workload of uh, production. He's a home run hitter who's also a strong inside runner. Zaire Brooks having a very great senior year. Patiently waited his turn behind several talented backs. Um, great vision. Um, combines that with some great agility and, and cutting with the football in his hands. And uh, he's a leading rusher in one of the state's toughest conferences overall. Alex Wiley the fourth, Olympic. Major League, Lake Norman Charter. Jalen Hines, Providence Day. Justice Washington, Mountain Island. JJ Gordon, Ashbrook. Brian Crowder, Independence.
Henry Forrest, Northwest Cabarrus. Dominic Chester, J.M. Robinson. Chinwa Zegbo, Central Cabarrus. Jaden Morrow Jones, Sun Valley. The Quadre Currents, Butler. Right, when you're talking about Alex Wiley IV, he exploded on the scene in the last two years where, as a go to receiver. He rakes great catches in one on one coverage with good speed and strong hands. Really, really developed well as a wide receiver. Major Leak has been a player the last two years. Major impact on success for Lake Norman Charter. Uh, he can play on both sides of the ball. And he's a dangerous returner on special teams. And he's got great speed and explosion. Jalen Hines is playing for a well-coached and talented Providence Day team. He runs excellent routes and has a high football IQ. Uh, he's got really good speed out of his breaks. And he's got an offer from Marshall. And should have more, in my honest opinion. Uh, Justice Washington uh, set records in Gaston County, uh, over 1,300 yards receiving last year. Uh, he's got offers from Dixon College and Brevard College, and uh, projects as a slot receiver on the uh, next level. He's got great speed. J.J. Gordon, he can play all over the football field. We took him as a wide receiver. He's got really good speed. He can make plays in space. Uh, he can play on defense as a corner and a safety and a linebacker. He excels in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Brian Crowder's committed to play at Limestone. He can make very athletic catches. He's got really good speed. He can create separation against man coverage. Um, he's a team leader uh, for the Patriots this season. Henry Forrest, he's the all-conference all uh, special teams player of the year last year. He's got offers to play at UNC Pembroke. He's the team's leading receiver this season. He's got really strong hands. Uh, Dominic Testa, 5'10", 180, he's an excellent slot receiver, uh, very strong route running skills, he can recognize man coverage and run away, um, and he should have a lot more recruiting attention, he's a very talented player. Tenwa Zegbo, uh, he's got several Division I offers to play college football, uh, he's a dynamic red zone possession type player, he can high point the football really well, he's got good speed, and he's got strong hands. Jaden Morrow Jones, a very fast slot receiver. We just saw him uh, this past week. Um, he's got the skill set to play defensive back also. He's a major threat in special teams in the kick return game, and he's got offers to play on the next level. And then the Quadre Kearns, he's a special talent. He's made a ton of big plays throughout his career. He can play anywhere on the field. He's got offers from Lenore Ryan and Gardner Webb, amongst others. Uh, just quite simply a playmaker. Angelo Hall, Olympic. Henry Anthony, Cannon School. D'Angelo Hall has been a major piece for Olympic for the last few years. 6'3", he's a major threat in the middle of the field. He's a vertical tight end. He can block him via H-back. He can be a wide receiver. He's the, the total package at tight end. Henry Anthony's the same way. 22 division offers. 6'5", 230 pounds. Committed to play at Harvard. Exceptional catch radius. He's a matchup nightmare. Uh, he can get it done, man. He is a big time player. Cass Phillips, Forest View. Christian Garcia, South Lake Christian. Connor Clendenin, Charlotte Catholic. Deontay Berry, Huff. Drew Davis, Mooresville.
Justin Wilson, West Charlotte. Kava J. Nixon, Lincolnton. Gabriel Hart Hernandez, Butler. Kayon Mitchell, Rocky River. Kevin Caldwell, Independence. Miguel Flores, Concord. Nolan Rakes, Marvin Ridge. Wyatt Parker, Piedmont. Xavier Noje, Cox Bill. All right, when you talk about Cass Phillips, 6'6", 295 pounds, athletic. He's got an offer from Lenore Ryan, impressive at guard and tackle. He can get out in the space, and he's nasty in the run game. Really like Cass. Christian Garcia at 6'2", 270. He's a team captain. He's got an offer from Roanoke College. He's dominant offensive line play. He loves pancaking defenders. He's aggressive. I really love his mindset up front. Connor Clendon in from Charlotte Catholic. It's a run-heavy offense. Uh, Connor loves to push people around. He's committed to play college football at Ithaca College. Technically sound. He comes off the football with bad intention, and he's very tough. Love it. Deontay Berry from Huff. He's the captain of the Huskies offensive line. Uh, he works very well on the first and second level. He's physical up front. Strong pass blocker at 6'1", 280. Does not allow penetration from defensive tackles. Drew Davis from Mooresville. He's an all-county selection last season. Big reason why Mooresville is having a strong season this year on offense. He can snap, step, fit, and drive on shade technique. It's very impressive to see it uh, firsthand. Justin Wilson from West Charlotte, one of the most powerful interior offensive linemen in the Charlotte area. His head coach, Sam Griner, is the second best offensive lineman he's ever coached. Very physical, tone up front, road grading, rock blocking ability. Kava J. Nixon from Lincolnton. I really got excited watching this film. Committed to uh, Charleston Southern to play college football. He's athletic and run blocking and pass protection. He's nasty in the run game. He loves to put people in the dirt. Gabriel Hurt Hernandez from Butler. 6'4", 295. One of the best offensive linemen in the Charlotte area. He's got offers from several colleges, including Virginia Tech and Temple. He can play both guard and tackle with powerful run blocking skills. Kayon Mitchell, 6'5", 280, great size, got an offer from St. Andrews recently. Um, really athletic in space. He can bend well and get out on the second and the third level and very technically sound. Kevin Caldwell from Independence, he's nasty up front. Saw that uh, firsthand. Uh, really has his, his good base power against defensive tackles. He's got offers from St. Andrews and Minnesota West and does a great job in pass protection. Miguel Flores, 6'1", 280, can play guard, tackle. Strong player, squats, deadlifts over 500 pounds. Works combo blocks and climbs in the next level effectively. And he does a good job in pass protection. Nolan Ranks from Marvin Ridge, 6'6", 240, great physical frame. He got offers from Hampton, Sydney, and Concord University. Very athletic, technically sound. He's been coached very well. Uh, does a great job in mirroring pass rushers. And then Wyatt Parker at Piedmont, great size, 6'4", 300 pounds, 4.4 GPA, gotta love it. Offered from several schools, he's a great fit and drive lineman, he excels in the run game. He can also uh, get out in space and pull. Xavier Noje from Cox Mill, 6'1", 275, he's got an offer from Livingstone, he's strong at the point of attack, great pass protection, good base, does well in the run game, fits and drives well on the inside frame. Good player. Antonio Armstrong, Kings Mountain. Brennan Mecca Rielli, Myers Park. Jack Smith, Community School of Davidson. Jeremiah Pagan, Ash.
Marshall McGowan, Burns. William Vernon, Palisades. Douglas Quarles, Corvian. Ian Coleman, Butler. Jason Hubbard, Metrolina Christian. Caden Porter, Concord. Nabil Okana, Weddington. Zykeer Stripling, Mallard Creek. All right, when you talk about Antonio Armstrong, he's an edge player that can do a number of things. Uh, he can get nasty and rush the passer from a two-point or three-point stance, and he can also play as an off-ball linebacker and be an asset in the run game and also play well in pass coverage. Brandon Meccarielli, great size, 6'7", 205. He does a great job setting the edge, and he has a nice pass rush move when he rips through the outside shoulder, and he can turn the corner with speed among the sack leaders in the Solmet Conference. Jack Smith, um, he, several coaches really, you know, said some great things about him. Very under-recruited, 6'3", 255 pounds, his best football's ahead of him. Someone's going to get a steal with Jack. Jeremiah Pagan from Ashbrook, strong and athletic defensive lineman, committed to play at uh, Lenore Ryan University. He's got a great get-off and strength combination, tough against the run. Has helped Ashbrook have a very good season so far, and he's got impressive closing speed. Marshall McGowan, uh, he's been making an impact since his sophomore year. He's committed to playing baseball in college, but he also had several offers to play college football, controls the line of scrimmage, and has good overall strength to shed blocks. William Vernon from Palisades, he's got an offer from Emory and Henry. He's an extremely strong and hardworking defensive tackle. He's an anchor against the run, forces double teams, and allows Palisades linebackers to make plays. He can push the pocket with a bull rush as well. Douglas Quarles from Corvian, great size at 6'5", 200 pounds. He's, got a, he's having a, um, a real good season for a Corvian team, having a special season. Recently committed to play college football at Elon, and he can play wide receiver. Ian Coleman from Butler, conference leader in sex by a good margin, 6'1", 225 pounds. Got speed to rush the passer. He can be a force against the run, and he's been a big-time leader for that Bulldogs team this year. Jason Hubbard from Metrolina Christian, elite pass rusher. He's on pace to have over 20 sacks this season. Six foot 205. It's all about speed and hands. Great get off at the snap. He can bend well to turn the corner against offensive tackles. Caden Porter, 6'5, 250. Prototypical college defensive line size. He's got offers from Eastern Kentucky, UNC Pembroke, and John C. Smith. Sets the edge well in the run game. Great hustle to get to the quarterback and make impact plays. Naviel O'Connor. Uh, doesn't get the spotlight at Weddington with a lot of talented teammates, but 6'2", 240 pounds. Shows good athleticism and getting penetration on the interior. Disrupts the run game, and he can push the pocket in the passing game. Zakir Stripling, 6'2", 235. Uh, can operate out of two-point or three-point stance. Transitions from speed to power rail in his pass rush. Gets to the quarterback quickly and can set the edge in the run game. Aiden Bell, Huff. Chance Ford, South Point. Edmund McClure, Hopewell. Deshae Brown, Palisades. Marquez Allison, Barry. Kenny 
Camden Martin, Independence. Hunter Eichelberger, Cutberton. Julian Platt, Rocky River. Nick White, J.M. Robinson. Zion Burden, Mallard Creek. All right, with Aiden Bell, he's committed to play college football at Davidson. He's an excellent linebacker. He gets in football, puts the ball carry on the ground, tackles well in space. Does a great job reading and diagnosing plays. He's a three-down linebacker at the next level. Four for South Point. He seems like he's been there forever. <laughs> he's six foot, 215 pounds. The tackling machine. He gets to the football fast. He can play sideline to sideline. And he can also play running back as well. He's got an offer to play at Limestone. Edmund McClure, middle linebacker for Hopewell. Good size. 6'2", 215 pounds. He's impressive against the run because he can take on shed blocks, get to the ball carrier. Effective blitz so he can drop and cover in the middle of the field well. 4.1 GPA. Deshae Brown, 6'2", 200 pounds. Great speed and physicality. Uh, he's helped lead the Palisades Pumas to a conference championship. The all-conference last season, and he should be another all-conference season this year. Marquez Allison from Barry, he was also an all-conference player last season. He's a playmaker on defense. He brings speed off the edge, and he tackles well in space. I think he's a good leader for his team, and he can also play in pass coverage. Camden Martin for Independence, he's a very strong linebacker. He can also play defensive line. Positional versatility is a major asset. He can really play against the run and take on and shed blocks well. He's got offers from Winston-Salem State and Charleston. Hunter Eichelberger from Cutperson. Oh, man, what a player. Middle linebacker tackling machine. He does a good job of diagnosing plays and getting to the football fast. He's a physical tackler. Does a good job. He's a leader and can also play pass coverage. Julian Platt from Rocky River, 6'1", 210 pounds. He's got offers from Shaw and Ithaca College. Great job in reading plays, diagnosing the inside run. Smart player, 3.8 GPA. Nick White from Jam Robinson, very talented. He can line up on the edge and blitz. Uses his speed well as an advantage to get around slow offensive tackles. He does a good job against the run. And once again, he can also tackle well in space. And then finally, Zion Burden from Mallory Creek. Strong contributor to a very good Mallory Creek defense in the last couple of years. Uh, excellent edge rusher. He can play all, as an off-ball linebacker, six foot foot and 230 pounds uh, has an offer from Hampton Sydney Tank Rough Crest Emmanuel King South Mecklenburg Noah Collins, West Charlotte. Mark Foster, West Mecklenburg. Jameer Davis, North Mecklenburg. Elijah Barber, Myers Park. Emmanuel Bea, Ardrick Hill. Kamarion Massey, Forest Hills. Squires Fields, Providence. Justin Watts, Mallard Creek. Quay Knox, Monroe. Sawyer Ducey, Porter Ridge.
Tank Ruff from Crest, he's holding off from Hampton, Sydney. He's a talented defensive back with very good long speed. Good skills in one-on-one -on -one coverage. He really excels in man coverage and can also contribute on offense as a running back and special teams as a returner. Emmanuel King, great effort and desire. Shows the speed to run with talented receivers. He really can come up well and support in the run game. And um, he does a great job against wide receivers in the passing game and coverage. Noah Collins from West Charlotte, incredible motor. I think he's fueled to be great. He's committed to play college football at North Ryan. He can excel at man of his own co uh, coverage. He's a great blitzer from the slot as well. Mark Foster from West Mech, really have uh, enjoyed covering him through the, his career. Uh, he's an excellent tacker, comes from experience playing at linebacker. Can play center field, he can be dangerous with the ball in his hands as well. Jameer Davis from North Mech, 6'1", 180, technically sound, excellent agility. Uh, he can play corner or safety, he does well at run support. He can come on the blitz and do well. Um, I think he can be a recruiting steal for a school. Elijah Barber from Myers Park, a player that I've loved for uh, the last couple years. He excels in man coverage. He's a ball hawk when balls comes his way. Uh, great speed and work ethic committed to play at Catawba on the next level. Manuel Bay from RG Kill. Strong safety slash outside linebacker, 5'11", 185. He's got a couple of offers. Uh, he can come down and run support and make tackles very well in space. He does a great job also blitzing off the edge and being a disruptor. Kamarion Massey from Forest Hills. He's got uh, a few offers from a few different schools. 6'1", 165, really good frame. He's got excellent speed. Uh, excels in man coverage. And he can also play make plays on offense as a wide receiver. Jaquarius Fields from Providence. Uh, he affects the game in multiple ways from his safety position. 5'10", 165. Comes up and runs support. He's an effective blitzer. And, and you saw in the highlight, he's got very good ball skills as well. Justin Watts from Mallory Creek, talented player at corner position, 4-4-4 four, four, four in a 40-yard dash. He's got an offer from Wingate. He's uh, physical, can come up and make tackles against receivers in space, and does a great job in coverage. Quay Knotts, 5'10", 165, all-conference last season. Think he's on his way to doing it again this year. He's had multiple pick six INTs this year, great ball skills. Uh, can come up and support and does a great job in man and zone. And then Sawyer Ducey at Porter Ridge, 5'11", 190, he's tough. Uh, he's a physical safety prospect who can also play linebacker, but he gets to the ball well, very disciplined in man and zone coverage, has good ball skills, can make interceptions. Brandon now with Community School of Davidson. Jason and CISO Huff. Andre Jackson Jr. Corby. John T. Gaither, Pine Lake. In their hat, Huff. Gio DiCarlo, Palisades. Landon Mare, Cannon School. Chase Thomas, Mount Pleasant. Brandon Albert's a heck of an athlete. He's gifted um, all over the field. He can play multiple positions, running back, wide receiver, defensive back. He's committed to play college football at Lafayette College. Um, excellent football intelligence overall. Jason Anciso, he can play running back, H-back, wide receiver. He gets north-south very well. Great vision. He's an excellent receiver out of the backfield. Team offensive MVP last season for a very good Huff Huskies football team. 
Andre Jackson Jr., very talented, just committed to play football at Hampton at college level, 5'10", 170. He can play quarterback, he can play defensive back. Uh, he's a just a game-changing athlete. John Tay Gaither at Pine Lake, 6'165". He's a heck of a track athlete. Um, big play guy on all three phases, returns for touchdowns, pick sixes, and big catches at the receiver position. Kendler Happen Huff, wow. Saw him in person a couple weeks ago. Exceptional kicker and punter. Great hang time on his punts. Kickoffs go out in the end zone for touchbacks. Great kicker. Gio DiCarlo, excellent long snapper on special teams. 6 foot 2, 290. Does a good, good job of covering after his snaps. 3.87 GPA. Uh, really good player on special teams right there. Landon Mare for Canyon School. He's the son of former NFL kicker Alindo Mare. 6'2", 185. Punts get great hang time. Great accuracy. He's a field goal kicker. Puts the ball in the end zone as a kickoff. And then Chase Thomas. He's a really good linebacker as well, but he's a good long snapper. He will play both in this game. Uh, he's a physical player as a linebacker tackles well in space. His snaps have really good speed and accuracy. 